Yo, what is up, guys? Face here, and welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day, like always. And today, I'm going to be going over the Caliban and the GSOL 1008. I'm going to be comparing both these vehicles, giving you my opinion on them, and ultimately show you and discuss their weaknesses as well as their strengths and how they do against each other. Now, both these vehicles are pretty similar in the way they look. Obviously, they look very, very similar besides the gun width and uh, a few different areas there, but they do look extremely similar here. And uh, yeah, I thought that it would be a great opportunity to go over both these vehicles. They are both British Tier 8 premium vehicles. One is a heavy tank being the Caliban and the G-Sword being the Tank Destroyer. And uh, yeah, I think they're very similar in the way they play and that is why I want to compare them for you guys and give you my ultimate opinion on which one I think is a better option if they are in store. And currently, if you haven't seen my GSOR 1008 review, there will be a link at the top right of the screen, so you can go and watch that. Anyways, guys, if you find yourselves enjoying this video, please leave a like and subscribe. It really helps me out. And with that being said, let's head straight into it. So first of all, let's go into the equipment and discuss exactly what I run to so that you guys can take full advantage of your Caliban. Now, first of all, I'm running calibrated shells. Just to boost that AP and high explosive pen so that I'm more reliably going to pen my shots. Because you could run your gun, gun rammer, but you have an 18.5 second reload with that. And I'd rather have the 20 seconds of reload and make sure my shots are penning. Obviously, it's only a, by 11 millimeters increase. But on the high explosive, that could actually be a great increase to actually penning your high explosive. As well as I'm running enhanced gun laying drive, refined gun, improved modules, improved assembly, as well as toolbox on the second row. And the third and last row, I'm running improved optics, engine accelerator, and high-end consumables. The provisions and consumables on this vehicle aren't the greatest out there, and there's nothing unique about them. So if you guys want to go over that, you can just pause the video and have a look at what I'm running really quickly. But I'm going to go straight into a battle. There's nothing, Like I said, there's nothing unique about the pr provisions and consumables, so I'm not really going to go over them right now. Heading into our first game on Winter Malinovka, and it is a tier 7 battle, which is very, very nice. It means we should be able to pen a lot of guys with our HE pen, which this vehicle actually has Hesh for, I believe it's 187 millimeters if you're running calibrated shells, which means that you're going to pen absolutely anybody on their rear and sides with your Hesh rounds. And you can do up to 1,000 damage in this vehicle, which I'm very, very happy about. Now, uh, as you can see, starting off, we don't really move that fast. We're actually extremely slow in the Caliban. And another thing about this vehicle is that it's extremely inaccurate. As you can see, that took me ages to get fully aimed in there. And I'm probably not going to even spot anyone here. We do manage to spot that Tiger 2 over here. I'm going to reverse just a little bit to maybe get a pen into this guy. Loading up my AP rounds. And we managed to get a shot into his lower plate there. And that was, that was actually on him. I'm not sure why he rocked his tank up like that. Because it made his lower plate extremely weak. Uh, as you can see that AP pen or AP alpha doing 600 damage. It feels like a 183 almost. Oh that's a tiger one showing me his butt. I'm going to smack him with high explosive for 883. What is that tiger one player doing? I have no clue. But he just got nuked for showing us his booty there. Uh, yeah, not sure what his plan was, but as you can see, this tank's alpha with its high explosive pin is extremely nice. You can do a lot of damage, and it's very, very fun, I must say. Now, there's a Tiger 2 over here. Maybe he'll show me the side of his tank there, and we hit him for 578 damage. Now, I must say, I don't want to sit in the, in the open too long because the enemy team has two WZ Blazers. Which if they hit me at the same time, they're going to do a lot of damage to me. There's the one blaze. I should be able to actually pen him with high explosive, no problem. Uh, just about. Maybe that other blaze will drive forward. Not quite. I'm actually going to get into the fight chair in just a moment. Uh, I'm going to try use my tank's very, very bad mobility to get in the front line with these blazers. So I can absolutely nuke them with high explosive. Hopefully someone can uh, kill that lower HP blaze. Because I don't really want to waste my 20 seconds of reload shell on a very low HP target. Uh, let me see if we can spot this other guy. I'm going to drive very slowly here so I can make sure that my shot hits. That WZ blaze for 800 damage once again. And as you can see, this vehicle hits so hard. And this is why I like to call it the 183 at tier 8. 
it's so fun that I can even just pin those people, no problem, with that amount of damage. He's going to shoot me again, but I want to just go and get some more damage. I'm not going to shoot that blaze. Hopefully, my team can actually kill him before he gets another shot into me. I'm going to drive forward here. Maybe we can get a shot or HE shot into the side of this Chi too, if he's not aiming at this direction, at our direction, I should say. We should actually still be able to pin him on the side of his, or in front of his vehicle. And we hit him for 758, and oh my god, we are nuking these players guys this vehicle is so so nice and i love the fact that i can do so much damage in one shot mind you the accuracy is extremely bad well and while i did hit every single shot in this game that is not really going to happen all the time it's something that i do find frustrating with the caliban instead of the gsor its accuracy is nothing to boast about however we do pull out 3700 damage in this game and it just shows you how great the caliban is Obviously, we're the top of the team. Even in a Tier 8 game, we were able to pin that Tiger 2, which has one of the best armor profiles at Tier 8. Uh, yeah, we went straight through his lower plate. So the pin, while well, it's not the greatest, if players don't play well, you can take advantage of that and absolutely nuke them. So, yeah, I really, really love the Caliban. However, moving on from the Caliban, let's head on to the G-Saur, which is very similar to the Caliban. Not only in the fact that it looks very similar to the Caliban, but they have the same amount of high explosive pin. Being a 187 millimeters when using calibrated shells, so both these vehicles can pen the same amount of targets with their high hash rounds. One thing I will say is this vehicle has three shell types. You can use normal high explosive or hash, uh, but I would highly suggest you to take no high explosive rounds because they have very very bad high explosive pen and they have no increase on their alpha. So there's not really a point in running them. You would just rather just run full on hash rounds. That is one little tip I can give you, but let's head into the equipment on this vehicle. So, very... So, very similar to the Caliban, I'm running calibrated shells, enhanced gun laying drive, as well as vertical stabilizer, which, is, which allows your vehicle to have 15% more accuracy when moving. So, yeah, definitely a great thing because this vehicle is a lot more mobile than the Caliban, and it's one thing I love about this tank. Second row, I'm running defense system as well as improved assembly and toolbox. Third and last row is improved optics, engine accelerator, and high end consumables. Now, one thing that is very, very different to the Caliban on the GSOR is that this vehicle has a two shot gun. As you can see, it has two shells. As you can see, it has two shells in the magazine here, which means that you can actually do the same amount of damage as the Caliban, but with only two shells, which I actually I think is a better thing because with the Caliban, it's a hit or miss if you're going to hit your targets. So with a tank that has a auto loader, you're a lot more accurate. And if you miss one of your shells, you still have a backup where with the Caliban, if you miss, you miss. And you're going to have to wait 20 seconds until you can shoot again. So the g sword definitely a better option in terms of its gun because it's a lot more accurate. And you don't risk it all by missing one shot. While you do risk a lot of your DPM, you still have a backup to clear targets if needed. As well as the entire clip of this tank only takes 15 seconds of reload at most, which is very, very fast for the type of alpha and damage output this tank has. So yeah, very, very nice. But one thing I must say, both these vehicles have absolutely no armor. So don't think you're going to bounce anything on both these vehicles. So heading into our g 1008 get battle here. It's not the greatest matchmaker here because I must say the vehicle doesn't have the greatest pen out there. It is actually pretty decent enough that you can pen a lot of your targets, but there is no heat shells on this tank. So whatever you can't pen with your AP, you're really not going to pen them at all. Uh, so I'm going to get into this position. As you can see, this vehicle is already way, way faster than the Caliban, which is very nice. It means you can get into positions like this fully aim in and get ready to shoot your enemy now just like the gsaw you have some very very good high explosive shells so you really want to take advantage of that if you can as you can see the accuracy is a lot better than the caliban meaning that you can hit your shells a lot more reliably and uh, this means that you can play that sniping approach in this vehicle and you can also play that kind of front line you don't want to be in the front line too long because obviously you don't have that armor but you do have that great uh, accuracy like you can see there on the move i was managed i managed to hit that comet no problem i'm actually going to reload my clip uh but this is because the reload on this entire clip is not that bad 14 seconds and you can reload your entire clip again to dish out a bunch of damage once again uh it looks like there are smashers over there as well another deadly tank at tier 7 I'm going to get one shot into that Tiger P there. I'm going to kill him with my second shell and then back up. And this is and this is all you want to do in the GSOR 1000 because it's that's literally just what it does best is uh, put your two shells out there and then get back into cover and then dish out those damage again. 
Should be able to hit this uh, Amex maybe in just a moment here. We managed to hit him for 446. As you can see, that accuracy and that pen being absolutely awesome on its high explosive rounds. I'm just going to get into the fight now because this game is basically over. It was an extremely quick game, but maybe we can get two shells into the back of this Lova. That would be greatly appreciated if my gun can do that. And one shell, two shell, and we dished about a thousand damage into that player. No problem. And this is what I love about this tank. It can dish out a lot of damage. Its accuracy is not bad at all, meaning that you don't find yourself... Like with the Caliban missing your shells and rage quitting. And there we have it guys. A very quick game with the g -Saw. It's a very fun tank. And if I had to compare both these vehicles and give you my honest opinion on both of them. Which one I think is better. Obviously I didn't do as much damage as I did in the Caliban. But I will say that the g -Saw is actually a lot more fun than the Caliban. This is because it is an auto loader vehicle. Meaning that you have that lot of dumping potential and that accuracy with this tank means that you don't miss your shells often where on the Caliban it's a hit or miss with that tank most of the time you're going to miss and it's very unfortunate about the vehicle however there's nothing really much you can do about the Caliban it is like a 183 so it's definitely preference based but which tank is better I'd actually highly say that the GSOR 1008 is a much better choice than the Caliban and that is just because it can it has that great accuracy a lot more maneuverability and both vehicles don't really have a lot of armor so why the Caliban doesn't have a lot of movability, it beats me, I don't know, but the G-Saur is very mobile, it can get to its positions, it has great accuracy, meaning you can hit your shells, and they have the same amounts of high explosive pen. So you're not really missing out on anything when you play the G-Saur instead of the Caliban, and the Caliban feels like you're missing out on some aspects when playing it in comparison to the G-Saur. But I'm very curious on what you guys think of both these vehicles. If you have either of them, which one is your favorite? You can let me know in the comment section below or in my Discord server. There'll be a link to join that in the description of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope your shots hit their marks and I'll check you in the next one. Cheers.